Invasion Network. You need to call. Call, call who? The Vice Chancellor of Federal University, Oye Kiti, is an appeal against the outstanding payments of the payments of outstanding salary. Special Minister Prover from the Outer State. Mr. Speaker, I have a petition from one Mr. James Oye. Friday, the 4th of June, 2021. The Federal Government of Nigeria, through the Federal Ministry of Information and Culture, announced the immediate suspension of the operations of the social media network Twitter in Nigeria. The Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohamed, in his statement announcing the suspension, cited and I quote, the persistent use of the platform for activities that are capable of undermining Nigeria's corporate existence as a reason for the decision to suspend the operations of Twitter in Nigeria. The suspension of Twitter in Nigeria has generated fierce debate. The House of Representatives has since the announcement been inundated with comments about the decision, requests for intervention and criticism, the House of Representatives recognizes that Twitter, like other social media networks, is an important tool for communication and for commerce in Nigeria, particularly among the younger generation who have used these networks for enterprise and innovation with great success. The House also recognizes that as social media has been a tool for good, it can also be a tool for bad actors. As such, the government has a legitimate interest in ensuring that these platforms are not used to commit vile actions against individuals and the state. The proper role of the legislature in circumstances like this is first to peel back the layers of the decision-making process to unravel the issues until we develop an understanding of the why and the how of executive decisions. Following that, the legislature must make sure that regulatory and enforcement actions by the government are in, are in accordance with the laws of the land, that due process of law has been followed to the latter, and that the outcomes of regulatory decisions do not result in adverse consequences for the country and all our people. Fidelity to our responsibilities in situations like this require the legislature and legislators to, as in the words of Rudyard Kipling, Keep your head when all about you are losing theirs. We listen to the agitation of the people, but we also hear from government, so that from the abundance of information, we reach the level of awareness that allows us to discharge our role dispassionately. It is in service of our obligations under the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and our moral duty to the Nigerian people that the leadership of the House has mandated from today the House Committees on Communication, Justice, Information and Culture and National Security and Intelligence to immediately commence an investigation to determine, one, the circumstances of the decision by the federal government of Nigeria to ban the operations of Twitter in Nigeria, and two, the legal authority for the ban on the operations of Twitter in Nigeria. The committees are additionally mandated to invite the Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohamed, to brief the House of Representatives on the objectives intent and duration of the suspension of Twitter in Nigeria and to report to the House within 10 days. Mr. Speaker, my dear colleagues, as a representative of the people, I have a source of communication with my constituents. I have a source of interaction with Nigerians. But in moving this, I must with every sense of responsibility, Mr. Speaker, commend the step you took this morning concerning this issue of ban on Twitter. Very proactive, very timely, very opposite. But Mr. Speaker, my concern is that as a Nigerian and for several other Nigerians out there, 
The implication is that for 10 days that we have given our committee to work, that this breach will continue. And we don't even know how long thereafter that our interaction with the executive arm will last. Mr. Speaker, whilst I agree with the submission, with the position of the leadership of this House in total, I will only want to add that for breach of fundamental human rights, particularly right to fair hearing, right to freedom of speech and expression, that we should urge the executive arm in the interim, I use the word urge, the executive arm, in the interim to reverse this order pending the outcome of our interaction with the executive arm. So Thank you, Honorable Chinda. Yes, sir. Let me very quickly, so that we can move along, refer you to order nine, rule one, sub rule six of our rules. I shall also assist you in reading it out for clarity. Yes, sir, Mr. Speaker, let me read. It shall be out of order to attempt to reconsider any specific question upon which the House has come to a conclusion during the current session, except upon the substantive motion of rescission. The matter has been sent to the relevant committees to investigate and look into the issues that you are talking about, and they will report to us within. 10 days. Uh, uh, that is what we're even if we had brought a motion here, we would have referred it to the same committee. And your motion may even have been killed. We don't know. So this way, we have even saved the day. The institution will look into it. In 10 days, we'll know what, um, um, uh, what action to take. And you have not complied with the order 9 rule 6. You're ruled out of order. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, please, Chinda, be Chinda, please be guided. Mr. Please. Speaker, if I will be heard. Please, please. The be next guided. order of please. the day. Chief Whip. Mr. Speaker, if I will only be heard. The next order, the second business Honorable of the Chinda. day is presentation Honorable of three. Chinda, seat, please. Three reports Mr. of the I committee. The on, already, uh, the Speaker has prepared. already ruled on it. Please resume your seat. You know the rules. The okay. Better. It? You know how to come back. You know the rules better. If you are so passionate about it, you know how to come back. Right. Mr. Speaker, in the circumstance, for PDP members, we have agreed to continue. The please, next order of the day please, Chinda, please, you are a ranking member is the first the reading. We continue to tweet. Please, we are please. with Nigerians. And if the Attorney General wants to... Where is it? Clark. Where is it? Here? Where is it? I don't see it in my. take any more points of order on this matter. Uh, uh, it's, it's unfortunate that uh, uh, seasoned parliamentarians who should know better uh, decide to follow a different route, whether to play to the gallery or for whatever reason. But I believe that as parliamentarians, uh, um, we have a duty and a responsibility to do what we believe is right. Uh, we have set up an investigative, uh, we've sent this matter to four relevant committees, security, information, uh, and culture, uh, ICT, and justice, to look into the matter and report to us in 10 days. That's what we are supposed to do as parliamentarians. Uh, we're supposed to, to hold a balance of checks and balances, but you cannot check and balance until you know and you unravel the truth. And that's exactly what we have, what we have done. At first, I thought it was, a, it was a partisan move, but I'm so glad, and I'm, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm I'm, I'm happy uh, to see several members of the opposition still here in chambers with us, and I commend you for your for your part for your non-partisanship. Uh, thank you very much. So we'll move we'll move on. And the director of the Department of Petroleum Resources, on the refusal to implement the approval granted by Mr. President. Oh, is that good? 
No, no, who is that? Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Henry Waoba, representing the enterprising people of Mbi Tony Kedu Federal. The Honorable Mike. Second. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Members, Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1990. This is the Division Network.